Welcome back to Virtual Reality Game Dev Ed. This is the 18th tutorial video for our friend Sky, and the last one for this model here. Okay, this is also the last one in our first series on designing in Blender. Well, design in general. Um, we uh, <clears throat> will actually get into a lot of more advanced series after this. Um, if you'd like to jump directly to our next more advanced series, as I'm going to call it, um, <clears throat> all you have to do is uh, click on the caption that I will put up here if uh, you're watching this video in time for my next series to come out. Okay, We have to finish this model real quick though, so just uh, right click on one of these and hold shift and click right click on the rest of them. Go ahead and hit 1 to get to the front view. U to UV unwrap and then V to project from view. Now I want to go ahead and add the same image that I was using before which for me is just the bamboo. Okay now I want to I'm going to move this a little bit to the center. Oh, I don't want to flip it. Well, let's scale it up first. That'll work. That'll be fine. I'll line it up right after that. Okay, now G to move it a little bit. Scale it up just a little bit more. And there we go. It's that wall. A to deselect everything when your mouse is over in this window. Now we've just got these last walls to do. Then for the rest of the video I'm going to talk a little bit about what we are going to get into in the next series. And uh, also talk about a little bit of why and what we didn't talk about in this series. <coughs> Obviously this is a very basic model if anybody noticed. Go ahead and press 3 to get to the right view. You can press home on your keyboard to center it if you'd like. And then press U again. And then V to do it from the view. Open that image. Um, we want bamboo. And then I want to scale this up again. That's about right. Okay, let's check out our model. That looks nice. Okay, press A to unselect everything, and then tab to get back into object mode, A to deselect it again. And now, we don't need this window open anymore. We have our whole model textured now, so in order to close over other windows, or panels, however you want to call them, say you have extra panels open like this that you don't need, all you have to do is come down here till you see this little plus sign, anywhere that it shows it, whichever direction we're going and then pull it into the other window. As long as they are matched up the same size, which these are, then you see that little light arrow here? It lets me literally just pull it right over the other one. How convenient is that? Okay, now go ahead and hold down shift and click the rest of these layers. Okay, now we have our whole model visible. <clears throat> now I'm actually not going to set up a real render scene this time. I, uh, I could, but, you know, we're not going to get into that much in this one. We're just going to preview real quick what it would look like if it was rendered. So you can come down here in your 3D view, um, all the way down here say you can't find that button, say it's too far over. When you're clicked in this screen, full screen is control up arrow. So control up to pull it up to the full screen. 
and then press this little camera button down here and now we see a preview of our rendered object isn't that nice and we can go ahead and actually save that picture if we'd like to our computer somewhere um, so that's what we would that's what we'd be looking like if I set up a camera and lights and all of that. But I'll get into doing a real render and all of that later in the next series. Right now we just made this quick little model. This model is ready to export into a game. So the last thing I want to show you in this video real quick since this series is just a quick series on designing for games and we have a completed game model object now if you'd like to use this model in our other series on uh, unity 3d um, on developing video game structure then you know we're gonna want to export this for unity so a to select everything one thing we want to do, well, no, this should be fine. Come down here under export, and if you added uh, all of those add ons under your user preferences that I showed you earlier, come down here to Autodesk FBX. That is the export option for Unity 3D. So go ahead and click on that, and it will bring up this we're just going to uh, rename and I'm gonna keep the original name of the saved file I have here uh, except I'm going to call this my house model Ooh, I don't need caps on house model and then enter and then export FBX and it is that simple now if you open that folder wherever you saved it to now you see this FBX file okay and that is ready to be imported into unity so we're gonna go ahead and do all that stuff in back in the unity series and whatnot it's ready to be imported into Unity. Excuse me, it's already been exported. It's ready to go. It's a perfect object. Okay. So the last thing I want to do is tell you, a l give you a l some quick previews of what we'll be getting into in um, the more advanced series and everything else. So we're gonna come under some of these menus and describe some of these real quick because this is where we're going to get into the fun stuff for the next series. Modifiers and constraints. Constraints first, I'll talk about this one. If you add a constraint, this allows you to literally limit like how you can transform or move or whatever the object. Say if I was making a window model, you only want you know like one window pane to be able to move only up and down and such so you would uh, limit the transforms limit the distance and locations to make it so it can only go up and down along one axis depending <coughs> axis depending on where your uh, depending on how you major um, window you can clamp it to certain other objects you can you know there's a whole list of uh, interesting you can make it follow certain paths which is really cool you can make a child of certain objects making a child parents and child is one thing I should I should explain real quick um, <clears throat> say I wanted this all of this object I wanted to create like an empty object and make everything you know part of the same house object because right now over here everything's you know I've got a whole bunch of things to work with so I'm going to go ahead and add an empty object 
Under the Objects menu, when your, ob your empty object is selected, let's go ahead and rename this House. Press Enter. And then click on all of these other objects. Click on any one, and you see this little parent box down here. Actually, first thing I need to do before I do that, come back to your house object. I need to put this at 000. zero, zero. So it's right in the middle of my house. Okay. Now, come up to your first object up here and uh, set it its parent house. And keep doing that to all of them. And we'll see how nice and wonderfully this parent option parent and children allows you to organize objects so they're a lot easier to work with you see all these mesh objects coming up and building up under my house okay now we separated everything however now that we put it all in our empty house object now you see we're going back down to a single item which makes things really nice and easy to work with it helps for organization it helps uh, for a lot of different things so that's what parenting means okay the next thing we need to talk about real quick is modifiers Modifying is really, really cool. We'll actually get into some modifiers in the next one real quick. Uh, you know, we have fluid simulation and ocean, particle systems. Those are things we'll, we will be getting into for sure in the next one. Um, also, subsurface modifiers um, right here. Solidify is actually the modifier that we used to solidify our walls and whatnot. This is a mesh option and talks about uh, what's here. All of our things have a UV map, so we uh, they'll all show all of our objects here will show this U little UV map that we created for it. This shows you what kind of material is on it. And this is for textures. We can add textures in here. Um, you can actually add images and whatnot. I actually did it through the UV map, so good there. And this is specifically our particle systems. If we added a particle system in here, this is where we edit the particle system. But we don't want a particle system in here right now. And then this last one is for physics. This is how we make all kinds of different physics effects for cloth, collision, fluid, soft bodies, even smoke, you know, anything you want. It's really, really cool stuff. So that's a little preview of what we will be getting into in the next Virtual Reality Game Dev Ed more advanced tutorial series for Blender. So I will be looking forward to seeing all of you over there soon. Have a good day, everyone.